Hello everyone. In this session, we will discuss about the time response of the second order system. So we already discussed about this. Yeah, whenever we are giving some input to the some system, we will get some output. Then how output will be varied with the time is nothing but the time response. Okay. Time response once again. Look at here. Time response means output output varying with the time, vary variation with time. Okay, output variation with the time is nothing but the time response simply. So uh, for which system? In the previous case, we discussed about the first order system. Here, second order system. Second order system means name itself. So what is the if you're doing the simplification on this actually it is the open loop transfer function by doing this we will get the closed loop transfer function so first write down the open loop transfer function so here open loop transfer function equal omega n square by s into s plus 2 zeta omega n and we will find out the closed loop transfer function also but look at here what is order so if you are multiplying with we will get s square plus 2 zeta omega n square and what is the type type is 1 order is 2 type is 1 order is 2 right what is type decides this factor order decides so if you multiply this what is the final thing s square 2 zeta omega n s plus so this is what is the maximum degree 2 2 is order right so we will we will find out the closed loop transfer function also what is formula for closed loop transfer function he this is the numerator and this is the denominator how we will get closed loop transfer function equal numerator by numerator plus denominator so which is numerator omega n square is the numerator and what is denominator numerator plus denominator so again s plus 2 zeta omega n plus omega n square so by doing the calculation we will get closed loop transfer function is omega n square by s square 2 zeta omega n s plus omega n square so now we will discuss each and everything so you know r of s input of the system c of s output of the system and remaining all are the new things here omega what is omega n natural frequency of oscillation natural frequency of oscillations so it has the units the units are radian per second radian per second and zeta zeta is damping ratio the new term is the zeta is there zeta is damping ratio it is a constant actually it doesn't have any units it is a constant no units So this is the second order closed loop transfer function and this is the open loop this is the open loop transfer function and this is the closed loop transfer function okay next practical circuit for the second order system so we already discussed practical circuits for the first order system for RL circuit and the RC circuit but here it is the second order system that's why we have two storage elements second order itself two storage elements what are those here L and C that's why it is the second order system so here we are giving some source input voltage we assume 
output voltage across capacitor is output so i will take it is a v naught of s v naught of s so from this so actual transfer function is value is v naught of s by v a of s laplace transform of input by laplace transform of output but we need to do practically so in order to find out the v naught of s and v a of s first you take assume some current is flowing some current is flowing in the circuit from this what is v a of s input current we can write v a of s equal the total voltage across this the input will be i can write like this so i will write uh, l will become l will become sl and this will become 1 by sc how it will become l so generally l is the term and for the reactance it will become j omega l and in the laplace transform it become sl this is also same thing okay so i can write input voltage is like this i of s into r plus i of s into s into l i of s into 1 by sc 1 by sc from this the input current equal if you common input voltage equal input current if you common the input current remaining terms is here r here sl and here is the 1 by sc yes so this is the input what is the output voltage output voltage v naught of s equal 1 by sc into i of s output voltage the output across this voltage equal current into the reactance 1 by sc into i of s right so what is transfer function what is our need of transfer function here the transfer function equal v naught of s by v a of s so what is v naught of s 1 by sc into i of s by v a of s is this value this is i of s into r plus sl plus 1 by sc so both will be cancelled the remaining is so in in this 1 by sc is remaining this is remaining so sc will be common so one is available here if you common the sc again here you have r sc or sc plus sl into sc will become s into s s square and lc plus one so by doing the calculation we will get this value the finally remaining is the remaining thing is s square lc plus s into rl plus one all right plus one so from here so to get clearly so generally in the equation in the form of s square in the form that's fine uh, divide with lc if you common the lc lc from the denominator what we will get finally so if you common denominator lc the remaining is the s square plus r by l into s plus 1 by lc 1 by lc finally we can write like this that is 1 by lc and s square plus r by l into s 
plus 1 by L into C. 1 by L into C. Okay. So, this is the final transfer function when we are doing the calculations. So, but in theoretically, the transfer function is we already analyzed that the compare with the transfer function that is omega n square by s square plus 2 zeta omega n s plus omega n square. So, if you compare with the, these two transfer functions, both are same actually. Compare both, we will get what is omega n square? Omega n square equal to 1 by lc. From this we can find out omega n. Omega n equal to 1 by root lc. 1 by root lc. So now practically omega n represents 1 by root lc. 1 by root lc. It is nothing but natural frequency of oscillations. Again we will write natural frequency of oscillations. So what is the this term is completed s square s square are same look at here here 2 zeta omega n is nothing but r by n so compare with the two things 2 zeta omega n equal to r by n from this we can write zeta value zeta value equal 1 by 2 omega n into r by l so you know already you know that the omega n value 1 by 2 omega n that is 1 by i can write root lc root lc equal to l so by doing this we will get the root l times so root l times r is there don't forget this r so finally we will get r by 2 into root c by l therefore the zeta value equal to r by 2 under root of c by l r by 2 under root of c by l this is the damping ratio so name itself zeta is the damping ratio this will decrease the oscillations actually. This is this feed, this decrease the oscillations. So we have another factor is there zeta omega n that is damping factor. That is the damping factor. Okay. Damping factor. So the when we are comparing with the practical transfer function with theoretical transfer function we will get natural frequency equal to 1 by root lc and damping ratio equal to r by 2 root c by l r by 2 root c by l this value and you know that zeta omega n is nothing but damping factor nothing but the damping factor okay these are the terms we we'll introduce into the second order system first order system we don't have such terms but second order system we will get the new terms because second order system is different from the first order system so first order system we don't have any any frequencies and damping ratios in this second order system we have frequency and and natural frequencies and amplitude ratios okay i hope all of you understand this session thank you